In this video, we're going to explore how you can use these buttons here to change the chart. So for example, right now we have this nice line chart, but if I click on this, you have now a bar chart. And if we go back here, we have a line chart. And if you click on this, we have a pie chart. And this is quite nice. And this structure uses the API of Chart.js and it's extremely essential because quite often if you will update the chart, you will get some incorrect designs regarding to pie chart and line chart. But this here, of course, solve, we have a structure that solves all these issues and it works nicely. So let's start and explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers question, which is how to change a chart type with on click in chart or on click button in Chart.js. So this was a question from one of the viewers here on one of my other videos, which was about how to create a multi bar chart in Chart.js. And in here, Gadget Meta was asking the following question, how to change chart type using radio button or checkbox like line chart to bar chart. So here, a quick note, because I'm going to do first, I will focus specifically on the button itself. Afterwards, we're going to create one with a radio button, but that will be another video. For checkbox, I would not recommend because checkbox might be a bit weird because if you can check them both, they should, the checkbox should probably respond similar to a radio button where you can only select one box or you can check only one box. And if you check another box, it will remove it from the previous box. All right, so let's start and explore how to do this. To do this, what I want to do here first is I want to grab my code here on chartjs 3com Go to this website and click here on getting started. And here you can find a video covering what this code is because I always use this code as a sample. But if you want to understand it, please watch the video because it's really essential to understand this part. I'll paste this in here and then I'll cut this out and then I'll paste this in here. So I have the title nicely. All right. So once I have this, we have a bar chart here. So what we want to do is we want to create two buttons here. We want to have a a button for the bar chart then we have a button for the line chart so that we can switch to these different charts to do this we have to explore a few items here so i'm going to show you some of the more advanced parts of chart.js and i'm using chart.js 3.5.0 by the way this is the latest version as of now and there are a few things here so you might be familiar with update i've used update quite often but we're going to use destroy and then we need to render it or basically initialize it. However, you might say, why don't we use update? I'm going to show you why we should not use update first. And then after we're going to use the official way. Why update doesn't work? Well, basically it doesn't draw the chart correctly and you will see immediately why this is. All right. So what we're going to do in here is let's make two buttons first. We have the buttons here and then I'm going to put in here a class name or function name. So I say on click and let's give it a uh, chart type as function. That will be the function and the function name here will be, uh, let's say here, this is the bar because it's a bar chart, bar chart. And then we have another one. I'm going to copy this. It will say line chart and it will be a line. All right. So we have two buttons and then we're going to create the function below here. So what I want to do is I want to basically activate the item here. So I will say here the following. So the moment I click, then I will say here function chart type, that's the function name. Then we put in here the parameter and the parameter would be here the type, which is basically this here, the argument that we have here or the value. And then parentheses or sorry, curly braces. And then in here, we can say this. So I'm going to do the incorrect way. You will see why it's incorrect. So I will say here, just for very, to make it very straightforward, we get the config and then we say type equals line. All right, or we can say here, config, oh sorry, not config first, we say my chart. And then we say dot config for configuration, which is this part here. And then we say type, and that will be equal whatever we selected. So we can say equal to this, so it's an equal sign, and there we are. All right, and once we do this, we do update. Again, my chart dot update. And once we did this, let's save that. Refresh, we have two buttons. So if I click on this, you can see here now, it works. You say, oh, perfect. But if you really pay attention here, we have this offset area in the grid lines, which is absolutely horrible, but it's 
this is basically inherited from the bar chart here. So you say, okay, what, what if I would change it? Uh, let's make this a line chart. All right. So you say, well, no problem now. If I do bar chart here, now what happens is we don't have the offset on the grid line here, meaning it will cut it away immediately. And that is your issue here. So the solution is to render it again. So we need to destroy the chart and render it. And if you talk about destroying here, use this to destroy any chart instance that are created and this will clean up any reference stored to the chart object within chart.js along with any associate event listeners, uh, listeners attached by chart.js all right well basically all the objects our issue right now was this object here with the offset and the grid line and you will see this as well if i make one with pi once i make one with pi you will see the same issue here pi pi save refresh and I say all right let's do pi and there we are now what happens is we're drawing some lines or the grid lines are still being drawn here and the shape is even uh, similar to a line chart and normally a pie chart has a square shape as you can see here so this is not your solution although it looks so easy I wish this was the solution but it's not because it will it's not that easy so what is the solution the solution is based to re-render it but to re-render we need to destroy the chart itself so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get this config here and i'm going to create a new config file or basically new config it's config value number two and all i say here is bar so you can do this and we can do another one for the pie i'm going to remove this options here this is not necessary for pie chart let me say here it will be pie and this will be number three all right so you already guess what we're going to do. We're going to create basically an if function in this function here. So what we will do is the following. We will say first of all we need to destroy the chart. So we say my chart dot destroy. We are destroying the chart, and the goal of destroying the chart is basically to destroy all these old grid lines and whatever all the objects value that has been set in here. We want to re-render it. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy this and then what we're going to say here is an if statement basically an if statement and this if statement will say the following if type equals strict and then what would it be well we could say here line in that case if it's a line we want to grab here this or basically sorry not this we grab this one here config without anything why because we set the line config as type is line so we're going to grab this part here paste this in here and then we're going to do some adjustments here as well so we, first of all we can remove the cons here all right so once we have this here we have this function here nicely and then what we need to do here is this should not be a cons anymore this can be a let why because we're going to look through this we're going to use this multiple times and that is not allowed to be used like the way we did all right so once we have this uh, let's double check if everything is correct here we have the my chart all right that is fine we put it like that that's fine and that's fine and if statement here we have to make sure that this function has this here we're going to remove all of this here all right what did we really do here let me explain here destroy chart what does this mean well let's look at it if i save this now no matter what type i select i will remove the chart so we need to destroy the chart because we need to remove all the objects whatever is in there so then what we're going to do is we're going to redraw the chart here and it's based on the line chart so if i go to refresh i will say you pi it will just destroy because we didn't have anything else but then if i do here on this you can see now it redraws the chart nicely all right we got this let's do another one now here uh same story here except this will be now not anymore a line this will be a bar chart so once we have a bar chart we're going to check here our config should be readjusted to the new option here which is config number two which is related to the bar chart paste here all right we save this refresh line fine bar fine all right beautiful as you can see here it moves and it adjusts itself correctly no problems here finally then of course you already guessed it final will be pi and then we have the pi chart as well 
config number 3 for pi, save, refresh. So now if you change this, we have pi chart and pi chart of course has a different shape as a square shape compared to the line chart and everything. So you can see here now we have no problem with this. And this is basically how you work with it. You're going to re-render this. And what is the render? This is basically the render or initialization block here. This is the reason why we're using all these blocks. And that's why I explained this before very consistently. And watch the video if you didn't understand this. Right? Or specifically this video here. Make sure you watch this video to understand how these setup blocks are working. So this is basically how to do it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.